Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at an 80% ARMS GST9. Check that out. It looks like a Glock, kind of. If I told you that it was a Glock and that I had all this aftermarket accessories and parts and labor and everything else put into this and paid over a thousand dollars for it, you'd believe me because that's what people do to their Glocks. But this is an 80% ARMS GST9 and this is the full build kit. You can purchase this whole thing for around 800 bucks as is. Or you could just get the lower. Now if you get the frame, it'll be shipped right to your house, unserialized, and it will fit a Glock 19 Gen 3 upper slide assembly. All right, that's what this is set to fit. But the frame itself is what I consider something that Glock could have been or should have been. It offers so much more. Check out that texturing with no finger grooves. This is my Gen 4 <laughs> Glock 19. I, I've had this for a while now, but the previous owner removed the finger grooves and that was really what attracted me to it because I don't like those Glock finger grooves. It cuts right in the middle of my finger. But nothing to worry about here. And it does take a Glock 19 mag, all right? But the one thing I want to concentrate on, though, is see this back strap here? It comes all the way down here. It does have a flared mag well for those quick mag changes, all right? But also available is an additional back strap that goes a little bit lower, cuts right in. Okay, you change it out the same way you would a back strap. Except for now it's fitting a Glock 17 round mag, much like the 19X or the Glock 45. And that, I think that's a great feature. You know, they, they came up with something really neat there. You know, you can keep it like this or go a little bit longer. And, you know, it's not that much. Undercut in the trigger guard. Texturing in the front of the trigger guard. And not just texturing here. Okay, I call it a memory bump I don't even know if that's right but it does have some cuts right in there it allows you to put your thumb exactly where it needs to be same thing on the other side for lefties or when you rest your finger on the pistol a full pick rail and a very solid feel to it I like the way this feels it has you know one of the problems that a lot of people say you know they call a Glock a block this doesn't feel like a block it really does it just has a nicer ergonomic feel to it now the slide is what I consider pretty cool I mean <laughs> very cool check that out it is optic ready now you can you can build this they have videos and everything and you can have this exact same gun flat dark earth black or OD green but it is optic ready cut to fit a Trigicon RMR or a Holosyn 407 and it does have those slide cuts there look really nice front serrations Cut at an angle there, both, as well as some scalloped-like texturing right there on top of the slide. Glock sights and the trigger, I'm measuring right around a little over six pounds, right, with a very familiar trigger pull right there. I cannot wait to get this thing to the range because it is not just sharp looking, but I have a feeling it's just, it's going to shoot. You're going to get all the benefits of what people love about Glocks in a very nice setup. Let's take a comparative look here. All right, here we have the Glock 19 Gen 4 GST9 80% arms. We'll look at the grip. All right, back straps here, additional. Totally a, mo a modular frame, completely modular. And we'll look at, this is what I want to show you too. See how this is, you know, squared off. This is angle cut there. So it will fit, even though it has a full pick rail, it will fit a Glock 19 Kydex holster. At least it does with this one. I don't want to say it's going to fit them all, but it does with this one. No problem. Nice, crisp fit there. Sometimes the pick rail will throw it off a bit, but not in this case. Let me go ahead and disassemble it because there are a couple things that I want to show you. Disassembles the same way a Glock does. But first off, these, these rails are nickel boron coated. And when I first worked the action, I was like, man, this feels like a CZ. And 
you know, CZs are just so smooth, and that, that's how it felt to me. Also, this barrel is fluted. Isn't that nice? So, you're, you're getting all the things that are additional with Glocks right here in this package, and that's why I was so excited. I can't wait to get this to the range. But let me go ahead and load up the mag or get some rounds here. We'll get it on the scale and we will compare it to a Glock 19. Here we have an unloaded GST9. Put that on the scale. It's weighing in at 1 pound 6 ounces. And just ounces we're looking at 22. Here are 15 rounds. Target loads. Weighing in 28 and a quarter ounce. And there's your carry round even though it's a target load 28 and three quarters ounces all right let's do the same with the glock 19 24 ounces okay so you're looking at two ounces heavier with the glock there are 15 rounds 30 and a quarter and then there's that 16th round 30 and three quarters so you're looking at approximately two ounces lighter with the gst9 so there it is 80 percent arms gst9 a complete build right here and i am so excited to get this to the range we had a snowstorm here in michigan i don't even know if my my truck will make it out to where i need to be but i'm going to try quickly and I'll bring you guys along to show you how well this thing performs. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.